Today in this video on Social Security SSI SSDI benefit amounts for the year 2023. Does working affect your eligibility for the disability? Anyone working above these limits will be considered to be doing substantial gainful activity, shortly known as SGA. Now here's the thing. Regarding the Social Security benefit amount, many of you right here in the community ask me this very important question. Whether it's your SSDI payments or it is a SSI payment and does working affect the eligibility for the disability? and what are the SSDI limits on the working and also what will be the SSI limits on the working and how does working during early retirement affect your benefits and how much in taxes does social security withhold how much social security attorneys can charge you in the 2023 and I have compiled all of those questions today in this video we'll check out the social security benefit amounts in the 2023 we have got tons of updates on social security SSI SSDI the disability benefits and these benefits Benefit amount for the 2023 gonna be most useful for pretty much anyone underneath the social security radar. Many of you right here in the community ask me this very important question and today in this video we'll be going to answer all of those questions right here in this video. So right before we start this video make sure to check out our channel how to guys for all the latest update on stimulus update, PEBT, snap emergency allotment date, social security benefits, raises to your benefits we have got tons of updates and make sure to subscribe to how to guys with all the bell notification turn on so you will never miss new videos we upload every single day we are committed for your money benefits latest stimulus package so make sure to subscribe and check out other videos from our channel and without further ado let's talk about ssi and ssdi social security benefit amounts for the 2023 now regarding the eligibility there are a couple of other changes happening in the year 2023 particularly for the disability and average benefits so speaking of the social security disability thresholds these thresholds will be shifting higher for the year 2023 so for non-blind it will be $1,470 for blind individuals it will be $2,460 and remember these right over here will be your 2022 thresholds and the thresholds for the year 2023 will be higher so just consider these social security disability thresholds for the 2023 and that brings us to the most important point what are the social security benefit amounts for the 2023 now the exact social security retirement and disability benefit amount for a person depends on their lifetime earnings but there are some average benefit amounts for the social security recipients in the 2023 okay so the average beneficiary or average amount that a person is going to get will be $1,827 which is an increase of $146 than previous benefits then coming over to the average disability benefit the average disability benefits that people are going to receive will be $1,483 and this will be an increase of $119 and speaking of the average widow or widower's benefit we are talking about $1704 in the benefit amounts and that will be an increase of $137 than the previous ones and next one the maximum social security retirement benefit that can be collected at the full retirement age will be $3627 per month in the 2023 although few people in the tire of very high earners are able to collect the amount and remember in the previous year this benefit amount that is the maximum social security benefit for the full retirement age was $3,345 now in the year 2023 these benefits are shifting higher so it will be $3,627 per month and that brings us to the next important question how they calculate your SSDI payment so speaking of how your SSDI payments are calculated well your SSDI payments will depend on your average earnings over the past 35 years and actually the social security will use the 35 years in which you had the highest income and social security will average your earnings over these 35 years in order to come up with your average index monthly earnings shortly known as aim and then social security administration that takes the certain percentage of your aim that is your average index monthly earnings and usually they call it bent points and through that one they come up with your primary insurance amount and that's how your ssdi payments are calculated so speaking of the next important question how much ssi payments you'll be getting in the year 2023 speaking of the new ssi federal base payments we are talking about 914 dollars per month for individuals and 1371 dollars per month for couples and these values are up from the last year so for individuals it was 841 dollars and for couples it was 1261 dollars for the 2023 and let's say you got your ssa call representative so 
social security attorneys speaking of those how much social security attorneys can charge you in the 2023 well your social security attorneys ss representatives can charge 25 percent of the back pay awarded to the client up to a maximum benefit amount so in the year 2023 your maximum piece will be seven thousand two hundred dollars which is up from the year 2022 so in the year 2022 they can only charge six thousand dollars so remember these change will be effective on november 30th of the 2022 next one let's take a look at does working affect your eligibility for the disability and speaking of that well actually the applicant we are talking about the those people who are applying for the disability and not talking about the recipients so applying for the social security disability insurance a person must be making less than 1470 dollars per month in order to qualify for the benefit and remember these threshold was 1350 dollars in the year 2022 so again in the year 2023 these thresholds are shifted higher up to 1470 dollars per month so you can still earn this amount per month in order to qualify for your disability benefits and actually blind applicants can make up to 2460 dollars per month and remember anyone who are working above these limits these thresholds will be considered to be doing substantial gainful activity shortly known as sga those people will be not eligible for the disability benefits so remember for blind applicants will be 2460 dollars per month and speaking of ssdi or ssi applicant they should be making less than 1470 dollars per month in order to be eligible for their disability benefit next one speaking of the ssdi limits now people who are currently receiving the ssdi and attempt to return to work can make more than that during the trial work program so ssdi recipients can get up to nine months of trial work period and in that a month will count it towards as a trial work period month when an ssdi recipient makes a more than 1050 dollars per month so remember this threshold is up from the last year which was 970 dollars per month for the 2022 and speaking of the ssi limits on working people who are receiving ssi the new federal income limit for ssi is 914 dollars per month but given the rules it's complicated rules govern what income is countable and what income is not so in short over the half of the income made by ssi recipient is actually isn't counted towards the limit so you can actually receive the ssi until you make up to 1912 dollars per month in the 2023 and that's considering if you got no other source of income so remember you can actually receive ssi until you make up to 1912 dollars per month in the 2023 but any income you receive between zero dollars going all the way until 1912 dollars will reduce your monthly benefit so let's say if you earn 1225 dollars a month and you have no other source of income then your ssi check will be only 344 dollars as for the calculation now remember in some of the state these income limits for ssi may be higher so you just have to check for your particular state and also the income exclusion amount for the student receiving ssi benefits is now 2220 dollars per month which is up to an annual limit of 8950 dollars next one let's take a look at how does working during early retirement affect your benefits so to understand this let's say if you collect early retirement benefits but continue to work after that then social security will reduce your benefits if you make over $21,240 per year which equals to $1,770 per month in the 2023 but during the year you reach the full retirement age you can make up to $4,710 per month without having retirement benefit taken away and after you reach the full retirement age on your birthday your benefits are not included at all and these will be regardless of the amount of the work or your earning and any early retirement benefits that social security deducted while you were working are again added back to your retirement check over the next 10 to 15 years next one let's take a look at how much in taxes the social security withhold and speaking of the social security taxes well the maximum amount of earnings that is subjected to social security tax is 160,200 dollars in the 2023 which is up from the last year so in the year 2022 this threshold was 147,000 dollars but for the 2023 it is 160,200 dollars now actually there is no limit to the amount of income subjected to the medicare tax so just make sure to note that and you can file all of this detail in the social security fact sheet for the 2023 all the social security changes i hope you found this video
video helpful so make sure to hit that like subscribe to our channel how to guys with all the bell notification turn on and this is kedar from how to guys signing out